You're watching TV 20 News 530 Live with Paige Beck and David Snyder. This is TV 20 News in High Definition. Well, at first you don't succeed, fly, fly again. That was certainly the motto of the so-called Rocket Boys of West Virginia, the subject of the film October Sky. One of the Rocket Boys eventually went to work for NASA, and that's the hope of some college students right here in North Central Florida. David finds out how they're doing in tonight's Innovation Technology interview. Thank you, Paige. Here with me tonight is Lenny Sostein, the project president for the Santa Fe College Engineering Club. Tell me about the rocket competition that your group is involved with with NASA. Okay. Um, well, our project is called the University Student Launch Initiative. It's a national competition sponsored by NASA. Um, it's where we have to uh, design, test, and build a reusable rocket carrying a scientific payload to one mile above ground level. So you guys have, uh, I can see that by looking at the rockets behind you, you've been doing this for a while now. How many rockets, generations of rockets have you built? Um, we started building rockets in spring of two, this year, um, and then we, we built uh, two different models, and then we've just modified them. How, how did you go about actually building these rockets here? What are they made out of? They're made, um, well, these, are, these two here are aerial kits, mm -hmm. um, and this one is a modified aerial kit right here. So this one actually used to look like that one. I see, so you've added onto it. What's the yes. glass partition that you have in that taller rocket? Um, we added a camera bay so uh, we could right. record in-flight video. Uh -huh. um, and then we've, we've also added other dual deployment features and things like that. So what has it been like, in a sense, working for NASA? How, what has the relationship been like for you in this competition with, with NASA? It's really exciting. It's a great opportunity for our students to interact on a professional level um, with a company um, as big as NASA. We, they also have um, sponsors as well, such as ATK, who uh, provides the solid rocket boosters for the space shuttle. Nice. So where do you stand now in the competition? What is the goal of the competition? The entire goal of the competition is to teach students what it's like to be in a real world situation. As real engineers, um, you're going to be writing proposals, writing design reviews. There's a group of milestones that we have to achieve um, in order to succeed at this competition. It's a point-based system, so everything we do is worth points. And you're fa facing some impressive competition there. I see MIT, yes. Rensselaer. What's it like competing against the likes of, of those groups? It's challenging. It's yeah. very challenging. Um, most of the students at Santa Fe are just the two-year AA degree engineering students. And we've been able to come up with some really good ideas that I think really rival those schools. OK, tell me about you real quick. We're about out of time. What are your goals, personally? My goals, um, well, I'm a chemical um, engineering major, hopefully with a minor in biomolecular engineering. I'd, I'd really like to work with chemical weapons and put them on rockets. OK, like this? Eh, maybe Somewhat. a little more yeah. sophisticated. OK, thank you for joining us with the Santa Fe College Engineering Club Project President Lenise Osteen in tonight's Innovation Technology interview. Paige, back to you.